it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brewdog and it's a can of their Indie Pale Ale coming in at 4.2% ABV, described as true independent craft. Silver can. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass then. So they've got Dead Pony Pale Ale, which is similar to this, very similar. Just wondering where they're going with this. Um, crystal clear amber coloured ale, good levels of carbonation, one finger white head. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, I'm just wondering where this sits, where it sits in, in the in their range of beers. They've got an IPA, they've got a pale ale, they've got a red ale, they've got a double IPA, stouts, milk stouts, Elvis juice, which is congratulations to Brewdog, by the way, for, for winning their appeal against Elvis juice. That's gonna be a permanent, uh, keep to be a permanent beer in their range. Um, Google up the Elvis juice story if you wanna have a look at it. Brewdog Elvis juice. Uh, but on we go, let's get the aroma. Looks fairly good. My goodness me. Absolutely no aroma of any hop at all. At all. A little bit of biscuit malt. This I, I don't know if Brewdog are playing games at this stage. Um, I, I don't know if they're looking for a reaction. I don't know if they're looking to brew the most bland pale ale that they possibly can. It almost smells like a lager. A mass-produced lager. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, ho, ho. that's um, that's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Um, I moved into craft beer to move away from beers like this. Um, I drank good beer to move away from beers like this. Uh, this is something you would find in. I tell you, I live in an old town called Barry, and it's a real. It's a bit of a rough and ready town. Um, there used to be old working men's clubs uh, that used to sell uh, regional beer and they used to call it IPA and it was about 3.2% ABV and it tastes exactly, exactly like this. No amount of hops whatsoever, just a bit of biscuity malt. So why have they called it an indie pale ale? I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna make a suggestion. I'm gonna make a big suggestion for the reputation of James Watt and Martin Dickey. And this is, this is my recommendation to these guys. This, guys, is something that you did not dream of brewing. This is not you. Somewhere along the line, with the whole equity for punks thing, share sales, I think, and I've been thinking this for a while now, you've lost control of your brewery. James Watt, Martin Dickey, you have completely lost control of the brewery. I don't think you own enough shares anymore in the brewery to make decisions. I'm not having a go at you. I really am not at this stage. I'm having a go at the people who have probably taken your shares off you in, in some kind of horrible backhanded deal. And all you're left with is the name, the legacy of, 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 of what you did. Um, this is pathetic. This is absolutely pathetic. I have never, never, never come across a Brewdog beer like this before and I know 
when I reviewed the, I reviewed a beer a few months ago, uh, a, a Brewdog beer, and I and I titled the video "What the Hell is Going On at Brewdog?" and James Watt liked. I put the title up on Twitter. James Watt liked my tweet. He liked the tweet. The title: "What the Hell is Going On at Brewdog?" and that's what that was the beginning for me in my mind thinking. This guy agrees with what I'm saying. This guy understands and agrees with what I'm saying. So I have a suggestion. I have a suggestion for James Watt and Martin Dickey. You guys have still a fantastic reputation. Why don't you, and this may be quite drastic, but it's probably on your minds and you're probably discussing it anyway after this why don't you leave the company james watt martin dickey why don't you leave brewdog and start up something another brewery to be true to yourselves to be true to yourselves why why have you let this happen why is why has this happened i would like as many people as I possibly can to, who, who watch my channel to go out and buy this beer, Brewdog Indie Pale Ale, true independent craft, try the beer and, and, and just tell me if I'm wrong. It might just be me. It might just be me losing my marbles. I don't think so. It's just, it's like that old horrible draft 3.5% IPA that the, the, the regional breweries brewed in the late 90s before real IPAs from Brewdog in this uh, <laughs> Brewdog with brought out punk IPA. Incidentally, that's what the word I was looking for. Incidentally, Brewdog brought out punk IPA and, and they made this incredible beer and they changed the landscape of beer in the UK forever. And they've gone full circle, they've gone all the way around and they've come back to this. They've come back to brewing the, the god-awful smooth flow type beers that we, we all hate. We hate it. Bit of carbonation, bit of metallic taste little bit of biscuit malt, no hops at all. I am not picking up any amount of hop at all in this beer. So I'm going to say it one more time. James Watt, Martin Dickey, if you have indeed been watered down with your shares that much that, that you're not in control anymore and other people now are in charge of making decisions and you're left with this, your name, your Brewdog name being dragged through the bushes backwards. Then it's time to leave and start again. Start again. I tell you what, I will be your first customer. I will be the first person. James Watt, Martin Dickey, if you start another brewery, if you start again, I will be the first person to buy into your beer. I'll buy the whole range. It will be fantastic because you're fantastic brewers. You are much better than this. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace to the Brewdog name. I'm going to give it a rating. This is diabolical. Absolutely diabolical. Brewdog Indie Pale Ale, True Independent Craft. I, I don't know why they seem to... Uh, who made the decision to put that on the side of the can? It's almost as if you're trying to... You're trying to... Make people's minds... Go, go, oh, okay, this is craft beer because we're telling you it's craft beer. It's not. This is not craft beer. It's a disgrace. Absolute disgrace. This for me is a 2 out of 10, 
2 out of 10 from me now craft beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom and cheers